What's up, my meatballs? It's Aaron Nitmar. Welcome back to more Pokemon Heart Gold Randomizer and Nuzlocke. This time, we're going to take on the final gym of the Kanto region in Viridian City. And as you can see, I've chosen my final party member. It is Obama, the Obama Snow. All right, it was a Snowver, and then we raised it up to level 55, so it evolved into an Ob Obama Snow. Uh, it does decent moves right now. I'm hoping it'll get better ones before uh, the end of the game, but for now, it works fine. Woodhammer. And Blizzard and Ice Shard do well for what we need them to, so that's good. And I feel like it really just benefits our team very nicely. Um, it covers types we don't have on any other member, both move sets and, uh, with, with the exception of Kool Aid, both moves and just its own type itself. So, I don't know, I, I felt it was a very good fit. Um, so, this time we are going to take on the Viridian City Gym Leader, and that's probably going to be it. I honestly, there's not much we can do else in this game. Talk to this guy. How was it? Were you able to beat the leader? Oh, not yet, because we're just about to. But now we can enter here, and there are actually trainers here this time. Last time, it was just one single battle, but this time, I guess they had more funding. The floor here is unstable, so you should put away your Pokemon now. The gym leader is a guy who battled the champion three years ago. He's no pushover. Give it everything you've got. All right, so we're going to have to fight him. But yes, there are actually trainers here now, which is nice because, I don't know, the last gym in Generation 2 just sort of felt crappy because you just walked in and fought him. It just en ended on a very poor note. So luckily this time we have trainers to fight, which is nice because uh, it sort of gives us an idea of what we need to expect. Look at this, level 53 Quagsire. We are going to... Maybe I should have leveled up some, but maybe I shouldn't have. Ah, uh, Woodhammer does so much damage to yourself. It's annoying. But it's like his only good grass move. I guess I just have to deal with it. Alright, so there we go. Down good those Pokemon. And yeah, that's all we gotta worry about. So now we gotta worry about how to navigate through this area. I kinda wanna navigate through this area. I kinda wanna battle that trainer up there, I mean. Uh, Alright, that did nothing. Oh crap, alright. Uh, this one? Let's see where this one takes us. Right there, okay. Where is... So should we go up this way? No, because this will take us back to where we are. Um, down will take us to Battle the Trainer. Okay, good. That's what I wanted, that's what I wanted, even though, uh, actually we will be able to get ahead further in the gym. But I wanted to fight all the Grunt Trainers just because we, we, we should. Alright, I'm going to switch out because Camera Up and you are not good friends. He stole your he stole your juice box on the playground, so I'm gonna use Kool-Aid to combat that. He stole your juice box, and so now I'm gonna use my giant pitcher of Kool-Aid and beat him up. Alright, and then Shift Tree. But I'm really liking how we're getting so many diverse teams now. Diverse teams with high level Poke or like fully evolved Pokemon. That's really nice, because like it works with how we are uh, working, I guess. Like our team is fully evolved, so I would like other teams to be fully evolved as well and not like battle Pidgeotos or something. That's right. Oh, there's something there. Never mind. All right, let's go ahead and do this and then make our way back to where we were at. Nope. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, that's the right way. Okay, next. Not that way. We want to go up. There we go. Okay, and then I think we want to go up. So I'll put us on a new tile. There we go. And then we go up like this. Yes, and then where should we go to fight that guy? Which, which one? Not any of them to the left, because that'll take us all the way back. Should be one of these ones over here. I think th this one. Okay, and then... Which one do I do to fight this guy? Or to fight, yeah, this grunt here. Because I want to fight him. What do I do? Oh, I think I got to go around. Yeah, I gotta go around. Hey, look, there he is, the gym leader. See ya. Yeah, all right, I gotta go like this, and it'll put me right in front of him. There we go. And then we can just fight, like, no problem. All right, so yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go, baby. Ah, uh, you ain't gonna heal yourself up. Look how much that does. I'm gonna have to be really careful of how I use that move. Really careful. I mean, it just, it does a percent based, or it does not amount of HP based on how much HP the other Pokemon, like, had, but it's still just a ridiculous amount. I'm gonna swap out, in fact. 
or Uncle Ben to be in the front. All right, now what we want to do is this and get us back on that tile we were at. Then I think we want to do this. Let's see where this puts us. Back right where we were. All right, so what? which way do we want to go? go to get this fight working because there's one last fight we need to do but if we don't reach it like what are we supposed to do ah right here oh wait what oh we got to take the inside one okay that makes sense we don't want to take the furthest one out because that will take us all the way back to the beginning and obviously we don't want to do that what the heck what, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to get to that middle one. Which I get to by taking the inside middle one. Right? No, because it's one, it's one too far out. So what am I supposed to do? Well, we do want to take the first one out because that puts us at the gym leader. But... I want to get to the point where I can fight that double battle up there. I believe that's a double battle anyway. Oh, here we go. Alright, I'm dumb. And I just bumped into this woman here. Sorry about that, ma'am. Sorry about that mammity mammity ma'am. I don't know what that was. Alright, uh, let's sand tomb this electrode and then fire fang this bull beat. And we will re oh no. Oh, that, that didn't do anything. I was just worried that helping hand would do too much. All right, so there we go. Uncle Ben wants to learn Hyper Beam. Why not? For the moment, I'm not really using Faint Attack. Mostly because Crunch art already has a high or a 100% accuracy. So the only reason Faint Faint, faint Attack would be nice is if uh, we get our accuracy lowered, but. We, these Pokemon really aren't lowering our accuracy too much, at least from what I've been able to tell. So, I don't think that's going to be as big of a deal as I am, like, expecting it to. Alright, now we want to go up. Right, and now we want to go all the way to the right arrow, because that will put us right in front of the gym leader. I wanted to heal first. So, let's go ahead and heal up Obama. And then we can heal up Sirius. And we can heal up Joe Biden, I mean Uncle Ben, and we can heal up Kool-Aid. Alright. And then we can go all the way to the right, and if I'm not right, I'm going to be sad. Okay, I'm correct. So, let's go ahead and fight Blue. Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you've conquered all the gyms in Johto? Ha 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 ha! Johto's gyms are that pathetic? Hey, don't worry about it. I know if you're good or not by battling you right now. So, the final gym battle in Kanto against Blue. Let's go ahead and do this. I believe he's got a full party, so this is going to be quite the challenge. So, he's going to send out Floatzel first. Probably could have led with someone who wasn't Uncle Ben, because uh, that's a pretty bad lead off. So, I guess we'll switch into Obama. But I am ready for this very, very, very long fight. It's going to be longer than uh, the other gym fights in this uh, region anyway. Wait, what are you doing? Is that Razor Wind? Are you serious? This is Razor Wind right now? I'm, I'm not risking staying. Should I? I feel like I'm, I th oh, I'm not going to be faster than Floatzel. Alright, let's just go Kool-Aid and we can just crunch him. I'm not going to let him get razor-winded. I'm not letting Obama get razor-winded. Alright, because that would do way too much damage. And we would probably die. And I don't want that because we literally just got Obama. That would not be good. Okay. Um, so let's, I guess we can just go ahead and crunch a bunch. Crunch a bunch. Get it now at your local grocery store. Crunch a bunch. Uh, ah. <laughs> And uh, I guess that's what his plan is also. Uh, unfortunately, he is faster than me, which means that if Crunch flinches, which I think it still does do flinch damage, not flinch damage, but there's the possibility of the flinch, then uh, we will be able to get flinched, but he won't. 
which sucks. Ooh, and our defense fell. I think maybe that's the byproduct. Defense falling instead of flinching. You're gonna full restore, I can just tell. Oh wait, no, 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 because you're getting buffed by hail. Yes! Yes, all right. Thank you, Lord. Okay. So next up, oh, good job, Obama. Okay, Sun Flora Flora Sun. So into Sirius we go. Sun Flora is kind of a crap Pokemon. Um, the original Blue Fight is actually kind of like how the randomizer has been the whole time. He doesn't specify. He doesn't specify. He doesn't specialize in one type. He's got all kinds of types. He's got you know a Grass type and then a Fire type and all that stuff. So it's really nice because. It lets you, uh, and it sort of combines all of his teams from the, uh, the game, the previous game. So Fire Red, Leaf Green, all those. Um, because he doesn't have one of the starters, but he has all three of the different types. So he's got an Executor, he's got a Gyarados, and I believe he's got an Arcanine. Those are the three types, that, uh, the three Pokemon that he would use for those different types. So, um, I don't know, it just sort of, and it works well because they want your team to be as balanced as his team. So you have to work smart. And that's sort of how the whole randomizer has been because a lot of these teams have been, you know, very balanced in types and not just all stacked in one type like they're supposed to be. Are you kidding me? This is a one-hit KO move, isn't it? Why would they give him that? What? You are joking! What? Why? I'm legitimately upset about that. We just lost a random Pokemon because we switched in. Are you kidding me? That is bullcrap. All right, let's force palm. I'm now that he's got Steer. I literally just have to hope that he misses every other time now, because I don't really have anything that can do well against a Lapras, other than the Obama that we just lost. Gosh, that's retarded. That's so dumb. I'm gonna force palm again. Hopefully we get a crit or some kind of paralyzed hacks. Please crit. I'm hoping more for the crit so he has no opportunity to use another sheer cold. He's gonna heal. And we're not gonna be in for good times. Gosh, that's so stupid! Just out of nowhere losing a Pokemon because of a one-hit KO move. That is... Ugh! That was such a good Pokemon we could have used too. It had such a unique typing and it had like good moves. Oh gosh. Alright. So he's only got two PP left on Sheer Cold. And we got him paralyzed. Nice. Alright, I think I'm gonna use Shadow Ball this time. And um, get him just a little past that. 50 you know the deal. Get him just a little bit past the 50% and then do a force palm and we should kill. Unless he kills us first with Sheer Cold. Of course! Why? I'm not gonna... Why? I mean, there's literally just nothing I can do about that. Absolutely nothing. I just have to sit there and let it happen. Because I, I can't, like, avoid sheer cold. It's a one-hit KO move. Even though it's got, like, a 50% hit chance of hitting or something like that. Alright, we're gonna hammer on this thing to death. He deserves it. He took out two of our Pokemon. That's what you get. You better not have another one-hit KO move on your team. Because that's just cheating. That's just straight. That is... Ugh. I don't... There's no, nothing else I can say. I'm just angry about it. I just sent us to... At least he didn't take out... Sirius. But we Fit was like the oldest Pokemon we have on the team now. And now we've lost them. Now we're, all, we're we're pretty much all Kanto Pokemon. Pokemon we've gotten Kanto right now. Man. At least this is giving us a good fight. I'm okay with that because he's giving us a good challenge and we're not we're not like struggle. I mean, we are struggling. We're not just breezing through it. So I I am at least happy that that is the case. Okay. Half damage. Come on, get a burn. All right. Ooh, get wrecked. Stone Edge would have done a lot of damage to us, and I was I expected him to have like something that would do that to us, but you missed, sucker. <laughs> okay, so Steelix, you're going down now. What? 
Oh, no. I think we're about to lose Sirius. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So we were buffed by the hail, and so was Steelix, and Steelix went down. And honestly, like, of all the Pokemon we have on our team, Sirius, as, as like, I guess mean I'm, is maybe the word for this, as mean as that is to say, Sirius is the most, uh, expendable, I suppose. Because we've still got three fire starters in our box. Blaziken, Infernape, and Typhlosion. So... Even if we lost Sirius, we would be able to easily replace him, which is, I mean, obviously, I don't want want that to happen, but if it happened, he's like, advan he's like, objectively the most replaceable. And you're gonna full restore, I bet. Alright, well, go ahead and miss, your, it's your last Pokemon, so whatever. Whatever. Empoleon. So, you're going down. Oh, that was close. Let's just go ahead and hammer arm because I know he's going to full restore again. Hopefully we will get the higher end of the uh, the damage spectrum. It's possible. But, uh, maybe not. Probably not. I don't think we will. Nope. It did less. Or maybe about the same. I can't tell. And our speed is falling, but we are still faster than... Oh, no, we're not because he healed this turn. Okay. So this turn should be it. If we had Bullet Punch, I'd be able to take him out. Okay, you're going to full restore again. That's messed up. Alright, so Meteor Mash. That doesn't do much because you're also Steel-type, but it does... Oh, wow. Critical hit. Alright, it did enough. That's all we needed. And my attack rose. Alright, so either way, we probably would have taken him out. Even if we didn't get that critical hit because that attack increase is quite helpful quite helpful all right so whirlpool me to death not to death don't do that all right so we were trapped in the vortex that's okay because hammer arm should take this empoleon out and this should be the end of leader blue all right it was the end of leader blue unless this is a lot this isn't his last pokemon i just looked wrong all right come on please be your last pokemon Oh, it's not! What am I- what? Send in Shuckle? You're really using Shuckle. Alright, Kool-Aid's really low on HP, so I'm gonna heal him while he's out. Or, yeah, him. I was making sure I was calling him a him. A him. But, uh, we're gonna heal, and I think we should win this time. You're unprepared for this. We'll knock you down! Knock me down with a Shuckle. With a shuckle, man. A shuckle? Is that really your choice of Pokemon? I guess you didn't have a choice in the randomizer. Because look at that, that did nothing to us. And he's he's like two levels, or one level higher than us. That did absolutely nothing. Alright, so it's Waterfall. This should do super effective damage because he's a rock type, I think. Yep, alright, and... This should be... Oh, wow. That didn't do as much as I thought it would. Man, quit gastro aciding us. You, you have suppressed our ability, but it doesn't matter because our ability only t kicks in when we are low on HP. And we are not going to be really low on HP ever. So, let's waterfall, and we should be in the clear. There we go. Shuckle is down. Kool-Aid gets some experience, and we defeated Leader Blue. This is the real power of Johto. Yes, that's right. No way. How the heck did I lose to you? <laughs> All right. Here, take this. It's the Earth Badge. And we get the Earth Badge, which is actually a feather, which doesn't make any sense, but okay. So, there we go. With this badge, you'll be able to use the HM move Rock Climb. Here, take this as well. And we get TM92, which... Not sure what that is. It contains Trick Room. It allows slower Pokemon to move before faster Pokemon for a while. Okay. Alright, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You are a good trainer. But I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. Alright, well, too bad you're wrong. Too bad I am the best. Alright, so as we slowly make our way through this gym, we can contemplate our whole life and why we're spinning. And I believe Professor Oak is going to call us now that we've gotten all eight gym badges. Yes, he is. 
Hello, this is Professor Oak. Oh, you don't have any. You don't have to say anything. I know better than anyone else how hard you're working. I thought I should get you a present or something in appreciation. Well, I picked something up, but I completely forgot to give it to you. <laughs> oh, you don't have to wonder about it at all. I know it's something that will be very helpful to you. You should just come here and pick it up. I'll be waiting for you at my laboratory in Pallet Town. So, let's go ahead and pick that up before we are done. And, yeah, let's do that. You go pick up Fly Me a River, my good old flyer. And we have to actually deposit Pokemon anyway because they died. So, let's go over to Rip in Peace. Get rid of Wii Fit. And our newly added Obama. Ugh, that's so dumb, man. Let me grab the amulet coin before we go, because I will give that to another person. Alright. Let me make sure no one else has an item they're not holding on to. Oh, you are. Alright. And I think everyone else should be empty. Yeah, all right. So let's wait. I didn't wait. Crap! I didn't get cl fly me a river. All right. Um. Uh, I was looking for, totally at the wrong place. There it is. All right. So there we go. Now yeah, let's back up and go to Pallet Town. I believe he's just going to give us rock climb, but I want to make sure because it's too convenient that we don't already have rock climb and he's got a present for us. But we just got the badge to that allows us to use rock climb. So yeah, that one hit KO move, man, I still can't get over that. That's just so irritating. What am I wasn't I had nothing I could do. Absolutely nothing. Good to see you. This is what I wanted to give you to you. And we got HMA, which of course I believe is rock climb. Yep, alright. When you get your Pokemon, you can go up rock walls that have steps carved in them. Those badges are wow, you not only have become Johto champion, but you've collected all the Kanto badges. Well done! Hmm, no wonder I sent something in you when we met. Tell you what, Aaron, I'll make arrangements so that you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make an exception in your case, Aaron. Go to the Pokemon League reception gate. You can reach Mount Silver from there. Alright, so I believe that's what we're going to do now. Um, or rather, we are going to go to uh, the Victory Road and then head to Mount Silver and the route before Mount Silver just to get our captures out of the way because I want to choose as many Pokemon as I can, choose from as many Pokemon as I can. Hey, she's out of the gym. Uh, we'll be discussing what that means later, but for now, Route 28 and Mount Silver are our final captures for this whole game. As you can see, there's only two areas left because I've pretty much caught Pokemon everywhere else. Um, so we've, all we've got left is the first encounters, here in Route 28 and Mount Silver, as I've said about eight times already. And of course our first encounter is garbage, total crap. Alright, so we're not going to worry about Goldeen being on the team. Um, Gligar, a Gliscor would have been nice. It's weak to ice moves, but a Gliscor is actually a really nice Pokemon. It's actually one of my favorite. Shiny Gliscor is like probably number two on my list of uh, my favorite Pokemon ever. I don't know why, it's just, it looks so cool, that whole blue stuff. That blue and yellow it looks so much nicer than the purple and red. Um, alright, let's go this way. And... Ivysaur, okay. Nice, nice, not bad. That would have been a nice addition to the team. That would have been a nice addition. Okay, and... Um, I'm not sure if this counts as Mount Silver or not. If we've got extra... Repels... No, I haven't been buying repels. Alright, I'm going to turn off auto run because that increases our chances of encountering a Pokemon. Okay. And from now we can't or for now we can just Alright, what is this? Mount Silver. Is this a different Mount Silver than the area we were just in? Alright, it is. It's it's called Mount Silver Cave, which means we can actually capture another Pokemon here. So I was mistaken. It's three three different areas. Well, we could have gotten anything, any of the 493 Pokemon, and we got a freaking Wooper. A freaking Wooper, man. That's what we got. And a Fampy. That's nice. That's that's real nice. All right, I want to see what else we could have caught, though. Fampy and Wooper so far. 
Um, so let's see what else. A chingling. Alright, looks like we're getting turd for Pokemon right now. Just absolute, like, the worst of the worst. A Zigzagoon. Come on, man. You Give me a good Pokemon game. Alright. There you go. Get out of the way. Alright, Mount Silver Cave. Let's see. Let's see what we can capture here. And then I think we're just gonna be done. A Crawdon. I've already got a water type, though. I've already got way too many water types, though. And then a Lickitung. Dupes Claws would have been apl applicable. And another Crawdont. And what else? An Arcanine. Alright, so pretty much Pokemon we've already encountered or crap Pokemon. That's pretty much what I um, am deducing here. Alright, so we've got two more Pokemon to choose from from pretty much the Pokemon we've got in our box. So I'm going to have to make that decision between the two episodes. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Heart Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke. There's no one in this Pokemon Center. I feel bad for this Nurse Joy. She's just... There's nothing she does. No one comes and visits her because this place is restricted to trainers who have proven themselves. Poor, poor Nurse Joy. Alright, so... Next time on Pokemon Heart Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke, we'll probably be beginning the, uh, the Gym Leader rematches. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day.